Hey, has someone ever told you that all religions are basically the same? Probably. You've probably heard that. Or you've said it yourself, right? Because it sounds like a smart thing to say. And, and I know what people mean when they say it. They usually mean that uh, all religions offer some sort of uh, holy book to read from, or they offer you some sort of holy day to worship on, or there's some series of things to do, like rules to follow or hoops to jump through in order to win the afterlife or win salvation. And there's typically some sort of moral thing about loving people and loving God. I get it. Uh, and, and, on, and on those points, I would concede and say, yeah, a lot of religions have very similar attributes. But to say that all religions are the same, that is not true. Right? That's not true. And, and you know it's not true. You've seen uh, people from different faiths, and you know they are not the same, and they don't worship the same way, and they believe vastly different things. I mean, even if we're going to consider the, the most popular faiths, okay, uh, Christianity believes Jesus was God, was the creator, and that he died for our sin and was resurrected, raised from death. And that belief in Jesus leads to an eternity of living with him in heaven. Now, Hinduism says, yeah, Jesus was God, but, but you're a God, and I'm a God. And this table is God, and this laptop is God, and this phone is God, this, this soda can is God. It's all, we're all God. Islam says, no, 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 Jesus was a man. Jesus was a regular man. He was not a God. And Buddhism says there's, there's not even any gods. There's no such thing as gods. And Buddhism is agnostic. So right away you can clearly see that not all religions are the same. They're vastly different. In fact, they're so different, no one of them can be true if another one of them is true. Right? They can't all be true. Two of them can't even be true because they are so vastly different. They believe such vastly different things. So if one of them is true, then all the rest are wrong, right? And I don't mean just a little bit wrong, like, oh, you know what, it's okay to take something from this one and take something from that one. No. If one of them is true, then the others are false, right? Absolutely false. Or Let's just even take the, the, the suggestion that all religions have some sort of process, right? Or some sort of hoop to jump through. Something, to, something you need to do to earn salvation. Okay. Religions basically uh, offer you uh, steps, right? Trials or uh, ways to make yourself clean or pure or perfect. You know, you follow this code. You obey these the, these rules, right? You observe these practices, worship on this day, wear these types of clothing, eat this certain types of food, or, you know, maybe be reincarnated over and over again until you obtain perfection. You know, that's the, that'd be like, um, like our golf course. There's a golf course where we live. Let's just say that golf course said, oh, you can be a member here, but you have to hit a hole in one at every single hole consecutively through the entire course. If you can hit a hole in one, at every single hole through the entire course, then you can be a member. That would be really exclusive, right? Really standoffish. Like people would say, that's impossible. When nobody could be a member. And they could say, oh, we get it, but we just want you to tr just try. Keep trying and keep failing, but keep trying. Maybe, you know, one day you'll get there. Christianity is the only faith where the golf course, if we use the same analogy, the golf course says, hey, your membership dues were paid for. Jesus paid your membership dues and you can be a member. Just come. Just come, bring your golf clubs, enjoy yourself, have fun. Christianity is the only faith that where God admits, you know what? Nobody can be perfect. Nobody can earn eternity or earn salvation where we all have flaws. We all make mistakes. None of us can measure up. And so because of that, I'm going to take the weight and the responsibility upon myself and I'm going to pay the price for you. 
Christianity is the only one that does that. Christianity makes some very outrageous exclusive claims. But the best thing about them is you can research it. You can research it, you can investigate it, you can look up the truth for yourself. Christianity is not afraid to pull the curtain back and have you examine these things and find out the truth. That's what you want to do at Walden Church. Uh, on Sunday morning, we are going to, we're going to do just that. We're going to look into this outrageous claim that Jesus is the only way to salvation. And during our service, we will also have communion. We'll have uh, a cup, and we'll have the bread, and we'll have it, and we'll experience the, the community that Jesus calls us to through communion. And we'd love to have you. We would love to be the church where you live. We have two services every Sunday, one at 9.30, which is our traditional service. We have a choir, and we're going to sing all of your favorite hymns. And then at 11 o'clock, we have a contemporary service. Come relaxed. Come however you'd like. Bring your kids. Bring your youth group. Uh, kids, we've got full children's program and youth program available at 11. We'll see you Sunday.